What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So thanks to Tesla's latest holiday update for 2023, they have added a fun new feature that enables you to customize the vehicle's locking sound. It comes with a whole slew of choices built in, but they did add the option to include your own from your USB storage device. So like I said, all you'll need for this is actually just a USB stick. Now, you can have USB-C, USB-A, it's just going to depend on what your vehicle takes, and a computer, or preferably an Android phone even, to get a ton of different notifications to customize it yourself for what you want. So I want to walk you through this one really quick to show you how simple it is to include this new file on your drive to play in your vehicle. It is a lot simpler than you think. Um, you do have to name it a certain way. It just needs to be dropped on the drive. Again, pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get right to it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do to start this journey is literally go to Google and search best Tesla lock sounds. And what you're gonna find here is a large Reddit thread with a lot of other people's contributors, ideas for what sounds good from hilarious things such as that to actually links down below with actually great chime sounds, uh, basically holistically put together. And you can pick any of these. So if you wanted the Windows XP shutdown sound, you can select that one, and that's what you'll get from that. And as you can see, there is a ton of options right here if you wanted. And if you wanted a little longer ones, there are those as well. Portal Sentry Mode activated. Sentry Mode activated. Classic there as well. Kind of fitting for what you're doing. Uh, but there's a lot here that you can choose from. I actually already have one downloaded. I do want to show you how to add it right to your disk. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and close this down really quick and shut this down and show you what happens when you install. So once you put your USB drive in, you will see here, it'll actually read simply as Tesla drive. Once it's formatted in the vehicle, that's how it always comes up. And you can see here, I have two already in here. Let me go ahead and actually open up two folders just so you guys can see both side by side from what's actually on the desktop than what's on the folder. So I have two lock chimes here, lock chime and lock chime one. It does need to specifically be called lock chime. The vehicle will not recognize lock chime one. So you can do this one of two ways. You can rename the file on your desktop or after you drag it in but it does need to follow the naming scheme lock chime and the file type of dot wave so usually what you'll download is a dot mp3 file that you'll need to convert over it is as simple as changing the extension just as you change the name so as you can see here like i said both already on my drive so i'm going to show you how to do it but i'm not going to remove these just because i do like them all you're going to want to do is make sure that they're in the correct naming scheme. I can't stress this enough. If you're familiar with using any other sounds in Tesla's, it really will not recognize anything. So we'll drag this one right to the Tesla drive and rename it. So we'll go lock chime. And then you can click off of this. And now we can change the file type by clicking .mp3 and converting that to .wav. Once you do that, it'll ask you if you want to confirm to keep .mp3 or use anyways as .wav. Obviously, you want to use anyways, and it's not going to save purely because I already have that sound effect named as such on the drive. Now, let's go ahead and move on to what I think will be very popular as well, using your mobile device to actually create your sound. The next way to do it, you don't need a computer if you don't want to use one. You can simply use your mobile phone. You can use an iPhone or an Android phone. I'm just going to use my Pixel 8 Pro for this example. And this, I think, might even be the easier way if you have the needed hardware. So again, you'll need a smartphone. You'll need your drive that you would need regardless. And also an adapter, depending on what phone you need. So this is just a USB-A to USB-C adapter that we're simply going to plug in and then attach right to the bottom of our Pixel 8 Pro. Now, I'm gonna take the case off because it doesn't fit in with that on right now, but the phone will automatically recognize it and give you that external storage that you'll need to save to your device. 
Now, once you have that all done, you're also going to need a ringtones app. Zedge is my go-to. It has a ton of different sounds, ringtones, whatever you want to call it. And specifically, if I can get this to load, you can actually look and see just for notification sound. So as you can tell, I'm on that already. And there is every sound effect you can possibly imagine at your disposal right here. So say for instance, you wanted uh, an iPhone ding, you can do that. Now, my call out here is I would recommend not doing anything more than a second or two, just because of how annoying that can get. So let's just look at this boo one. And that's what you'll get from that. If you wanted something like the coin that I showed you earlier, the Mario coin, that is actually right here as well. But again, tons of different options. Apple Pay. You can have that right there. And say that's what you want. You are simply just going to download it and save to the media folder. Then all you're going to need to do, and this will obviously depend on what device you're using. But for us, we're going to find our files. And let me move this up so you can see it easier. And you're going to go to audio. And you can see there's the Mario Brothers one I downloaded prior and the Apple Pay one. So the Apple Pay one's what we just obviously downloaded. All you're going to do, again, select the three dots. We're going to copy to, and you can see you have the option for flash drive. We'll select that and then just say copy here. And it says one file copied over. You can actually see that by going back to the main section in files, going to flash drive and sure enough, oops, sorry about that. There it is. Apple Pay is right here now and you can rename it and do everything as you would. Now let's go ahead and jump in the vehicle. And now for the fun part, actually getting it installed. So when you're in your vehicle, you're gonna obviously wanna to go to your settings menu and go to glove box and take the actual storage card and put it right in over here. As you can see, right in that USB port. Let me go ahead and get this going. It is a tight fit here in the Model S, so gotta finagle it a little bit, but there we go. Once that's installed, you can close it up and go right back to your display here. Now, from here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and open up the toy box and under boom box, you can see lock sound is right here. What you're gonna wanna do is actually just select whichever one you want, or if you're ready and you wanna use your USB drive, all you need to do is click USB here and it'll play that sample for you. And I'm not sure if you heard that, I'll switch it and we'll do it again. Check this out. And that's it. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more Tesla how-to videos that will be coming soon. Also, I really like the Rivian chirp sound that their vehicles use as a locking noise. Looking to do that one next. Let us know also in the comments down below, do you have any other ideas for what a good sound might be? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.